So Oket just uh, joined us. So uh, let's start, and uh, I'll just share the um, the agenda. Although it's uh, extremely okay. simple. So can I can I confirm I managed to share the screen? Uh, for yeah, you? I can see that. Okay. So we only have a, a few things to uh, to to talk about today, and uh, the first thing actually goes to the validators before because without validators, uh, the community is nothing. So we want to make sure each validator have at least a chance to introduce themselves and uh, to let others know who they are and why why people should uh, delegate their Litecoin to them. So. Uh, this time for October, we have uh, one new validators, which is Chiver, and also uh, Leaf Win. Although he actually joined a, a little bit earlier, but uh, he wasn't able to join the meeting last time, so uh, he'll be able. He, he'll also be uh, introducing himself. So can we can we have Kramen uh, start? Uh, we we have plenty of time. I mean more than last time by by pandy i mean maybe maybe three minutes so you can feel free to uh introduce the organization or whatever you feel fit thanks okay thank you so hi everybody i'm uh, maybe i turn on the you know you can see my face so i'm clement um so i'm in france right now and uh so i'm uh, in lockdown since yesterday uh, but like so i um we have been uh, setting up this validator with a, an organization called Chiware, which was uh, started last year uh, in uh, in December. For the so the maybe I, just to, for a short history of the of the organization is uh, we started this organization again uh, uh, for the ten years anniversary of Chi Hardware, which was a very early open source hardware uh, initiative. So ten years ago, so and we decided to restart an organization uh, based on the legacy of, of Chi Hardware um, to foster the the open source uh, the legacy of open source in uh, in hardware and software uh, in uh, for because um, and uh, we are working on uh, on development of cultural projects. So it's like publishing events. And uh, different things like that, and we've been following Litecoin for for some years. So my partner John Phillips uh, was in Hong Kong, uh, lived in Hong Kong, is in is in the US now, but because he cannot come back. But um, and uh, I think we met with Kin a few years ago at, in uh, in Singapore uh, for First Asia for the Open Source Summit there, and on a crypto panel. So I've been following crypto for some time, and and we decided to uh, start this uh, Chiwa initiative to to. To basically uh, uh, foster encounters between um, different countries, cultures, and uh, so we have based. Uh, originally, most of our activities were based in Shenzhen because uh, and myself, I've lived uh, in uh, in China for like uh, in mainland China for for ten years, and now I'm back in Europe. So the idea was to link, uh, you know, um, yeah, the Asia and Europe and the U.S. and so uh, work together to. Really like make a, a common discourse, and we we are focused really on the, on the mining side of blockchain because it's a very interesting uh, crossroad between the question of uh, energy and energy spending, and you know how all the world uh, digital technology is built. So myself, I, I work usually as a as a researcher in different organization and as a developer, and so right now we just uh, we're just starting really with the. With the validator, I did the setup. It worked really well. Uh, I've been following the project for some time, but uh, um, uh, all the the migration for Ethereum to the token to, to Cosmos now. So yes, and uh, and well, I yeah, I, I really uh, more like looking for guidance right now, and you know, trying to understand more who are how we can contribute more to the community. So the first step was to setting this technical uh, brick uh, validator, and then no is a uh, yeah, we're really open to have more conversation and uh, and you know start more contribution um, to to Litecoin in general. I think. Yeah, and um, yeah, if you have any question, anything, I can 
I can't answer. Um, yeah. Thank you. That's uh, awesome. Very awesome. Uh, we, we really welcome your, your joining us. And uh, so we have Liv Wien. Uh, Liv Wien, you, you don't have chance to introduce yourself last time. Would you like to uh, introduce yourself this time? Yeah, sure. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, uh, so hi, everyone. I'm Liv Wien. And uh, I'm from Taiwan, but uh, now I'm working in Japan. And uh, um, I'm an engineer and I'm a writer, um, write uh, popular science. And also I, um, it's a, I'm a early user of Litecoin. So as a validator, I want to um, introduce more um, about what I'm uh, learning from uh, from matters from Litecoin, and like to introduce the details to everyone that uh, involves anything about the governance of the like chain. Yeah, so that's basically that's the idea. Thank you. Uh, Kim is muted. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, by the way, I mean, there's one small thing, small but important thing that I want to uh, remind uh, Clayman and actually uh, some of the validators as well, is that uh, you can, you may, uh, and you'd better update the uh, your, your icon, your moniker of the validator and uh, write more about Shiver, uh as much as you can because uh, it's how others get to know who you are and decide whether to delegate the tokens to, to you. Uh, would, can, let, let, me, let me share the uh, link to the validator page and you, you'll see what I mean. So uh, I, I just share the link to the validators and as you can see some Validators have their moniker, their, their icon updated, which looks better, and some others uh, do not. And then when you click uh, on. Sorry, Kim. Yep. I don't know if it's my problem or not. Uh, I cannot see the. I still see the agenda page instead of the. The link. I mean, the, the, the chat in the chat. I, I didn't share the screen. Okay. I thought you shared it. Yeah, anyway, uh, th that's just what I, I, I want to remind. And if you are not sure how to do that, uh, feel free to ask in the Discord channel. And talking about uh, our Discord channel, uh, there is a change, I, I think, uh, lately, that which makes some of us cannot access the, uh, the, the, the channel. Can uh, Phoebe explain a little bit how to how how are we supposed to where are we supposed to click so as to get into the channel? Yeah, um, since the uh, cosmos we something changed the rule. Uh, so they hide the in ecosystem channels. Uh, for all the so when you go to this, uh, sorry, Phoebe, the you probably not sorry, Phoebe, seems the seems that that networking is not working quite oh. well. Oh. We, we can't quite hear you. I, I I just stopped the uh, screen share. Maybe I, I'm not sure if that saves any bandwidth for for Phoebe. Okay. Mm, let's first make sure uh, she knows we we can hear her. Phoebe, do you know we 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 couldn't hear you? Uh, actually, uh, let me share the screen to uh, Discord and see if I can make things 
Kira. Just give give me uh thirty seconds. This is good. Am I sh so uh, if you joined our channel, uh, you should be seeing something like uh, like like here, Cosmos, but uh, you may or may not are uh, seeing it correctly. So you have to click on here, rows. Uh, can somebody confirm you are seeing my my screen share? Uh, click on, yeah. click on this yeah, row. Click on here, and then pick ecosystem. Not not on the word ecosystem, but uh, but down. Click here one uh, where there's one five one. One five seven one one five one, and then you will see the ecosystem, uh, channels, one of which is Litecoin, and then click on Litecoin. And will be there. So just in case you have uh, questions on how to set your moniker, you can ask it here. And other validators are here to to help, and uh, maybe our team as well. So that's that's just what I want to um, remind everybody. So let's get to the next agenda, which is uh, what like which is to follow up on uh, proposal four and proposal five. So just as a reminder, we have our proposal four passed it last month and proposal four is to em empower um, individual stakeholders to raise proposal and to vote for themselves. But uh, some some people have a uh, query in their mind. So, uh, it's past it now. What uh, when we can raise our proposals and when we can vote for ourselves by ourselves instead of going through the uh, validators? Because uh, right now we are uh, in the voting period of proposal five, uh, but still we have to go through the validators. We cannot vote by ourselves just yet. So uh, we just want to explain how how that would uh, happen and how, how things work. So I'll have uh, Chong please explain a little bit how this is going to work. Okay, uh, so proposal four is about uh, uh, direct voting from uh, delegators, uh, voting and uh, proposing the proposals from delegators instead of completely relying validators like, uh, like current situations. And uh, this uh, proposal for is uh, only a text proposal and the implementation to implement the uh, desired feature, we need a chain upgrade, uh, which change the chain software so that uh, so that the chain will work in another way. And then uh, so we need to change the mechanism of the chain, which needs some software update uh, upgrade. And our next software upgrade is uh, is uh, the code of our next software upgrade is Photon, which is under active development. Uh, besides the direct uh, direct democracy voting and proposing feature, uh, it also introduced the underlying Cosmos SDK upgrade, which will boost the performance and also reduce the uh, storage overhead of the train software, uh, which will greatly uh, making sync as uh, chain of synchronization faster. Many validators uh, reflect to us that uh, the synchronization is actually quite slow. Uh, so uh, the chain upgrade will probably solve this problem. Uh, the chain upgrade will also introduce a new feature called ISCN, which is uh, which Keen has already advertised a lot. Uh, it's basically a content registry for content uh content creators to upload their content metadata and register their content uh, on our chain so that th their content will be given a unique id for others to query to attribute and and to refer to their content currently the upgrade is still under active development and the development should be uh, finished uh, we should be able to finish the development within uh, december and launch it uh, in two, uh, Q1 of 2021. And since this is a Q1 
huge upgrade and it's a huge upgrade from the underlying SDK. Uh, we need to, we would like to follow the uh, Cosmos Hub mainnet, uh, which is which they refer the code to as the Stargate upgrade. And this is because uh, the Cosmos mainnet will have uh, much more resources than us for uh, more thorough testing on the underlying Cosmos SDK so that if they think that it's, a, uh, it's okay to launch their mainnet, then we will consider that uh, this upgrade is uh, is uh, secure enough for us to uh, also secure enough for us to launch and also since it's, uh, there are many changes from the underlying SDK uh, we will need like crunching validators to uh, cooperate together to uh, to actually launch a new chain instead of a uh, instead of a graceful upgrade which is uh, to upgrade the chain we need to first hold the uh, the current Litecoin chain export the chain data and then uh, launch uh, and then launch a completely new chain starting from block one so this will need a uh, cooperation from validators we need to do that in real time together um, maybe in a conference so uh, the details and the procedures will be announced later uh, in the form of a proposal and also we will uh, for safety reason, we will also do that on uh, the Litecoin chain testnet first to make sure that uh, the data is know. Uh, we all know how to. We all know the procedure and yeah, to practice it on the testnet first. Uh, that's basically about uh, what's about the next chain upgrade. Thanks, Chong. So the most important message is that. Uh, we we are going to have a test lab for the Liu Qing, which is Fortan, and and we'll need uh, validators validators help to uh, join the test lab to make sure everything's okay before we actually upgrade, or else there would be there there could be problems. So uh, other than an update on proposal four, there's a proposal five, which is uh, right now in the uh, voting period. Uh, the voting period have started for like a, a few days and there's still around 10 days to go and uh, OCAT, I think OCAT, I believe OCAT is here. Yeah, OCAT, uh, our uh, recent uh, new validator uh, has wasted the proposal which uh, we in general agreed to raise the uh, the the inflation ratio from 1% to 2%. And uh, let me see, the um, Fobo is not here, so Quan couldn't make it today, but he actually made a comment. Uh, he actually thinks 2% uh, is not the optimal uh, percentage, but he definitely agree uh, 2 is better than 1. So I, I guess Fobo is going to vote a yes. So, uh, because he's from a Cosmos background, I, I would like to, uh, I, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but uh, it is like, uh, you, you, can, you can assume this is what I heard from him, and, uh, but, but you have to verify. So he, he actually thinks a, a formula would be better than a fixed lumber, because that's how Cosmos work. The, uh, by formula, I mean, it depending on the uh, actual delegate uh, delegating percentage, the inflation weight will or the minting weight uh, will adjust itself. So when the delegation goes up, uh, the minting will the, the inflation will go go down, and if the delegation goes down, uh, say right now is at fifty percent. The in the inflation will act automatically adjust to go up. Uh, actually, I it seems I I I I I, I turned. Uh, I I made it wrong. Uh, should be the other way around. A anyway, you you see the logic. So just an automatic adjustment instead of a fixed number, so that we don't have to go through a proposal every time when when the uh, delegation uh changes significantly 
Uh, but but two percent is definitely uh more appropriate than one. So that's my opinion. And uh, if you agree, so so please vote for yes. And if you don't agree, actually still please vote for the proposal. You can you can say no if you for some reason uh, think it's not a reasonable proposal. But definitely please uh vote for your delegators. So uh, OCAT also uh, submitted uh, uh, an article on matters, uh, a short but uh, great article to re remind us that uh, democracy is not free. There's a price in it. So uh, we'll have to do something to make it work. And let's go to our next agenda, which is the last one, uh, which are our general updates and among to which the most important update would be grant for the web uh we'll have freebie to do that yeah hi everybody uh i just turn on my video just in case uh internet get worse so um i'm happy to share one of the small milestones that we recently reached uh if you followed our blog you will see um uh, we received a fund uh from grant for the web um, and it's definitely a small milestone for us because it totally aligned with what we're doing. So what is Grant for the Web? Uh, Grant for the Web is actually a fund to support open, fair and inclusive standard uh, for an innovation in web monetization. And we actually submitted our proposal back in April. And um, just in last week, uh, we received uh, the final result and among 286 submitted applications, uh, 24 flagship level recipients were selected and we are one of them. So uh, thanks for your team, hard work and all the support from the community. Ah, um, I, want to, I want to interrupt a little bit just to add, uh, by the way, matters is also another one. So yes, congratulations yes, yes, to yes. matters as well. They are. Yes. Thank you. They, they Thank, are you great well. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, and um, would like to go through a little bit what actually is uh, web monetization that was suggested by the grant for the web. So um, they are actually suggesting a new web monetization standard, uh, which allows websites to earn revenue from users without uh, requiring users to sign up for a subscription or needing to deliver content or services through a third party platforms or neither from advertising revenue. Uh, so Grant for the Web is introducing a JavaScript browser API that allows the creation of a payment stream from the user agent to the websites. So given said, um, with this grant, we will be moving forward to adopt this uh, web monetization standard. Uh, to our existing Litecoin protocol. And um, for the implementation, implementation timeline, uh, I will pass it to Chong on how we actually execute it in, in the upcoming timeline. Yeah, uh, first I would want to talk about uh, the underlying of the uh, web monetization protocol. Uh, the web monetization protocol is actually backed by, uh, powered by something called Interledger, which is another protocol for uh, seamless payments and tipping on the, uh, on the web. So with this protocol, uh, users can uh, pay or tip the content, uh, uh, pay or tip easily uh, using the currency that they want, like uh, Ripple, BTC, and I think they also support US uh, fiat like USD, and they don't need to worry about the com uh, the troublesome of uh, converting their currency to to the ta uh, to the receiving uh, to the one that the receiver wants to receive, because Interledger defines uh, payment gateways and what they call the payment routers, uh, which will automatically do the conversion for them. So, uh, so our plan is to connect Litecoin with Interledger, which means that uh, either we set up the payment gateway and payment routers, or we uh, have our partners like exchanges to uh, set up these uh, payment gateway and payment routers for us. 
so that we can connect to the interledger and then user can use uh, Litecoin for tipping and uh, and payment in the web monetization protocol. Uh, so uh, we actually, we don't have a very solid timeline on that, but uh, it should be on uh, on the first half uh, first half of uh, two to one uh, depend, uh, which actually depends on the uh, on our partners' willingness and their and their progress on the payment gateways. And we will also support and integrate the brand monetization protocol, the tipping, the payments uh, in our various protocols like uh, uh, like button and super like. So, uh, and also integrate that with the ISCN so that, uh, say for example, the payment uh, the payment method for uh, in web monetization defined in web monetization could be listed in the content metadata and other applications can utilize this uh, to uh, to tip the content through the ISCN uh, to, to tip the content according to the uh, web monetization protocol listed in ISCN. So uh, yeah, that's basically about uh, uh, the implementation on our side. Very cool. Uh, so uh, if there's no other things. We move on to the last agenda, which is AOB, but which is actually not an AOB because just now I realized that I, I made a terrible mistake. I missed it, uh introduction of uh, Guan Yun. I, I thought he introduced it himself last time already, uh, but but I was wrong. So we have still have two three minutes. So what uh, Guan Yun wants to introduce yourself the gentleman with uh the icon limits okay okay i, I think i just i i introduced myself at the beginning uh, yeah so before the meeting yeah okay okay uh so i am guan yun and my english name is, is hello and uh, and i'm from mainland china i am now working as a web de developer at uh, at uh, uh, a a, te a a technology com company and uh, and I I joined uh, uh, I become well later at uh, last month uh, and it's happy to join the community and I hope I can do do something on like like on chain and uh, and uh, make some effect uh, on 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 decentralized content. Uh, I think that's all. Thank you. Uh, can can I ask where where do you host your validator? We we are keen to uh, know how how Litecoin is blocked or not blocked in in China. I I host uh, uh I host my uh well uh nigga, my I host my node at uh, at uh, uh di digital ocean. I see. So so the IP is from like uh which country? Uh, do you think? Uh, uh, I think it's Japan. I see. I see. Thanks. Uh, so, so we are in our AOB. Uh, any, anyone has anything to, to add or ask? Let's uh, send the link to our Discord once again, because that's how we, where we, uh, in general, ask question or, or discuss issues. And I think some of us may not have joined the uh, the channel already. So let me share the link to the Discord once again. Oh uh, wait. So so I just sent the link uh, to Discord. So although we do have a uh, Telegram channel, Discord, and then Twitter and, and others, Discord would be the, the most uh, de facto place to ask issues regarding uh, governance and also uh, technical development and also setup and maintenance of web data. So I would highly recommend you to do it there. And so if, Nothing else. I, I thank everyone for for your time, uh, 
and um, I'll see you next month, uh, next the the first Monday of next month in the same link. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.